Split Decision MMA UK still here at Ice FC3. The main event of the evening has just taken place and I'm here with heavyweight Scott Slasher Mitch Mitchell. I nearly got it wrong there. That's rambling for you already. Yep. Uh, 36 seconds, I think it was, TKO victory. Yeah. Did you expect it to go that quick and how are you feeling? Um, well, I knew he was a good K1 lad. Um, so, you know, I just... Uh, you know, I was thinking, well, should I won box with him? You know, obviously not. I come from a boxing background, and then I thought it's not the the intelligent thing to do. We're not we're not in a boxing match. We're we're doing MMA, aren't we? So, I thought I'll go in and take him down, and that, I did it, and and stopped him pretty quickly. But once you got him down, you know where you're more comfortable. Like you said, he's K1, so he won't maybe not feel as comfortable down there. Is that when you knew you kind of had the win in your grasp? Yeah, he was he was strong. He's just you know he's a big unit, isn't he? You know so. You know, he, he felt very physically very strong. Um, I thought I'd be able to control him better on the ground, and he, he, you know, he was giving me a bit of a run for my money. So, you know, but luckily I managed to start getting my shots off and, and stopped him. And um, was it frustrating after knowing you were planned to fight John Painter, and then he pulls out, and then this guy steps in? Does it ever make you think I've got to change it up a bit? Um, not really, because I, th I think with both of them. I, I, I thought I'm definitely going to be better on the ground, you know. Uh, I, you know, I thought I will be better stood up, but it's not intelligent to, you know, to to fight them at their strength, is it? Yeah, especially when you you want to do what you do best, yeah, and yeah. well, you're best all round. I think I, I'd I'd be intimidated seeing you. It's just the size and the you know everywhere. Everyone can punch. Do you know what I mean? You catch someone with a big overhand right, and they're going to sleep, and they with these little gloves on, you know. So. I was uh, I was I was happy just to you know to get some shots off and get it get it over like. And how was it main event ended? I know we said we spoke before the fight and you said it was not that much pressure. Was it a good yeah, feeling? No, it was a good feeling. Um, Tom was telling me to take it all in and enjoy it. But you know on the way, I, I, you know I thought it's just just like normal. But on the way here tonight, I'm driving along and I thought I'm 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 proper excited here. Do you know? Yeah. Um, and and I'm not normally like that. Normally I'm half asleep before a fight, you know. So yeah, it was it was a uh, it was good. And does it impact you in terms of warming up and preparation, going from say being towards the top end of the card, but then being the very top because you're you're coming on around eleven o'clock, whereas everyone else you know is getting it out of the way. Does that, you know, you know what I mean? Like put put not more pressure, but you know, do you have to like even yourself out as the day goes, like with food intake and yeah, yeah, of course. It's it's you know you have to be careful. Um, you know, you have to bring your food with you to, you know, because obviously you you know you get here and you could be here for six hours before you fight. So you know you need to bring some food make sure you got some carbs with you and whatever so yeah it's uh it's uh, you know you have to be a bit scientific about it i'm glad i don't have to be scientific about things at the minute i think i'll try and lose some weight but it's good to be stood next to a heavyweight so i don't know you know you're a big guy so it makes me well we're the same size pretty much aren't we i'm not saying you're big like that if i weighed in i bet i'd weigh more than you the suit just kind of people only see my upper body they just got upper body boy floating head yeah that sort of stuff but as i said i digress from the point and that's you're now two and oh two and oh that's right and it as a pro any future goals plans you've got for the rest of the year um i I just I need to be busy. Um, I'm not young, you know. I need to get uh, as many fights as I can and hopefully make me mark in the sport. You know, I'd uh, you know see what I can achieve. So I can say the sky's the limit, especially. And yeah. hopefully, you know, you'll get back in there soon. And if I'm there, I'm not following you. I'm just following the sport around, and everyone seems to interchange. But um, do you know any final um, words or anyone you want to thank? Um, I want to thank all my team, uh, my sparring partners, they all know who they are, I'll not name them because I'll forget someone. Um, you know, Tom obviously because he put so much effort, so much work in with us. Um, all the coaches at Elite Boxing in Bolton, uh, they do a lot of work with me. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll leave it at that because I could go on forever. Yeah, and I know everyone says, you know, if you try and remember, try to remember, you'll miss that one person not thinking, and they'll like be, why did you not thank me? And you'll be like, I'm sorry, this guy just jumped at me with a camera. But thanks again, too annoying. I always love seeing you compete. You're always relentless, and um, hopefully I'll catch you again soon. Nice one. Thanks, thanks, thank you. Thank you.